Hello friends, uh, my name is Rishit and I am back again with yet another video. Yes, this video is special. You know why? Because this video can help you get your dream job. Yeah, I have been seeing that so many people are stuck at the wrong place, in the wrong job and they are wasting their time. I believe there is a possibility and the possibility is to get that dream job that you have been waiting for very long. Yes, it is all because of your mindset. I believe that if you can change your mindset, a slight shift in the mindset can give you greater results in your professional life. And today in this video, I am going to share 5 mindsets, yes, 5 mindsets which can help you get your dream job. So are we all set for the journey? Okay, let's start. The first mindset you must have to get your dream job is called an abundance mindset. What do you mean by having an abundance mindset? It means that never believe that there are fewer jobs or fewer opportunities. No, not at all. There are several opportunities for you. You know what happens? If people believe that the jobs are few and they have to crack, you know, whatever opportunity that comes their way, they have that mental pressure in their mind. Now just imagine, you have to give your best performance. But then you have that mental pressure in your mind that that's the only opportunity you have to crack it. Now for few it will be very easy. You know what pressure helps them perform well. But there are many people who are not performing at their best when they are having that mental pressure. So the first mindset you must have uh, while you are searching for your dream job is to have an abundance mindset. Believe there are several opportunities. Believe that there are so many jobs out there in the market and you can get any one of them. With that kind of confidence, if you approach your interview, your dream job, the possibilities are very high that you are going to get through that interview. The second mindset is called a flexible mindset. Now what do you mean by that? Uh, whenever you approach any kind of job, uh, there are so many elements to it. Number one can be location, second can be the profile, third can be uh, the title, Fourth can be uh, the number of hours of working. There are so many elements. But to get your dream job, you have to sacrifice a couple of uh, you know, uh, elements. Now you will not get the best of all worlds in the first place. Accept it guys. It is difficult. If you are willing to trade off just a couple of elements, you might get the right entry that you require at the start of your career or probably at any stage of your career to get your dream job. So always be flexible. One way of identifying those elements is just list down all the elements that are important to you and see what are the three elements that really matter. For me it was number one happiness, second was learning and third was growth and rest I was willing to compromise. Similarly identify those three elements that are relevant to you. Third mindset is a victor mindset. You know what, uh, whenever you approach different people for your dream job, you are going to face rejections. Yes, you are going to face no's. But the thing is, uh, what happens after you receive a no is important. Now there is a possibility that once you receive a no, you will say no, I give up. I cannot proceed forward. I will not get my dream job. Guys, I want you to have a victor mindset. Yes, if you have a victor mindset, you will say no problems at all. This was my first no. I'll go for the next and the next and the next. Always remember guys, to double your success rate, triple your failure rate. Have a habit of accepting no's and moving forward because let me tell you, after several no's, you will get that one yes. Every no is a stepping stone again for you getting your yes. Fourth mindset is a zero comparison mindset. Yes, the problem is that we tend to compare ourselves with other people. We compare that okay, this X guy is having good communication skills. This Y guy is having N number of certification. This Z guy is having you know some extra work experience. Now, if you compare yourself with other people, you are selling yourself short. You need to know what is your uniqueness, what is your unique selling point and that is where you need to stress upon. Where you are going for an interview or you are having an interaction for that dream job, you are networking with someone. 
it is very important for you to be in your own skin because that's the easiest thing you can do so have a mindset which is called the zero comparison mindset fifth mindset is called a strength based mindset yes uh whenever you are having an interaction with anyone focus on your strengths what are your unique selling points do not focus on what you don't have instead focus on what all things you have if you are not having experience do not talk about your experience instead talk about your energy levels your passion and the projects that you have done beyond your regular stuff if you don't have the right educational qualification talk about uh, examples or stories where you have made a difference with that kind of work which is relevant to you now what happens is the people who focus their entire lives on their strengths truly become great so the point is have a strength based mindset so finally guys if we live by these five mindsets it is very easy for you to crack that interview that you are waiting for these five mindsets can help you get your dream job yes guys there is a possibility please share the feedback for this video in the comment section below and do like and share this video with people who are looking for a job till then see you enjoy and have a great time bye bye